What's up, Walking Dead friends and family? It's Brian Castrillo back with another review, and this time it's for Fear the Walking Dead um, episode titled Cindy Hawkins. And this was a fantastic episode. And the cinematography, I mean, Fear the Walking Dead is absolutely killing it. We're in this post-apocalyptic slash nuclear um, fallout. And just the imagery and some of the special effects that we're seeing has been absolutely phenomenal. And I loved how the episode started on this one because playing a fantastic song by the Mamas and Papas, California Dreamin'. And this is one of my karaoke songs. So I'm sitting there watching, I'm, I'm starting to sing it. But you, you're seeing the life of John Dory Sr. and June Dory as they're living in the bunker that Teddy had built. You see supplies, endless supplies, food and whatnot. And there's a, I believe it was 69 days that June we first seen but she has this chalkboard and she she's going through the days and she's you know as we're seeing they're playing the song we're seeing what they're doing they're playing board games um I think it was life I I could be wrong on that the title of that but but she's marking down the days they're having coffee just kind of daily mundane life that stuff but they're you know they seem like they're happy just trying to make it um but throughout this we're seeing as you know, he when they when he goes to bed, there's like he keeps looking at the ceiling and there's like little dirt that's coming through, and there's and it's just kind of getting worse and worse. And eventually there's some rumbling and and this wall you know caves in, and you you walk in and this is straight out of a horror movie, and and we're seeing the room that Teddy killed all his victims. And we learned that there was 23 victims. Of course, they only found the bodies of 22, as we learned from John Dory Sr. And, but they never found that body, but we, John said that he had promised the mother that he would, he would never stop. And eventually he would, you know, help her bury his, his daughter, um, her daughter. But Teddy would never, you know, he never alluded to where she was. And, and I just gotta say, Teddy is, absolutely one of the best characters in the Walking Dead universe. This has been done so well. Um, and throughout this, you know, well, you know, first, uh, June, when, when they find this room and, um, and they see all the torture stuff and everything, and he's telling her that he's got to find her. Um, and he opens up this box that has like this snake eating itself. And I believe that's the same symbol that was on Alpha's belt, um, which is kind of cool. I I don't know if there's some sort of connection there, or or there's something um, more, just just kind of a a parallel there. But but anyways, he's going through you know all his evidence that he had, and then you know comparing it to some of the stuff in the room, and he and June is saying, no, you need to stop this. This is over with. There's no, she's not going to be around anyways. You can't save her, but he wants closure. And this is something that he needs to do for himself, even though June doesn't want it. Um, and throughout this, we're, we're, he starts seeing or hallucinating Cindy Hawkins. And it creepy as hell because her mouth is sewn shut. And this, of course, is given me vibes from a lot of horror movies i think in ouija they did that um there was one movie from 98 called strange land that that where they sew the and sew the mouth shut um and a lot of other horror movies so it's been done but it it's just was so creepy and it just really emphasized that that whole horror vibe that um teddy kind of brought to the show fantastic love love this character um so, you know, he, he's, um, he, he can, continues to hallucinate and he's hearing something, you know, up, up on the top there and he goes up there and, you know, he's climbing up and, and I, he hears Cindy Hawkins. Of course, it's not Cindy Hawkins, but he, he you know, he falls down cause he's scared and, you know, this wakes up June and he, he goes up there. Um, she doesn't want him to, but he goes up there and those stalkers that we saw before, you know, they're, they're all geared up and they're, um, he starts seeing, he's, he's hallucinating up there. He's, um, you know, he's hiding from them. Um, he, he's thinking that they're, he starts seeing the victims that are walking toward him, but it's, it's actually, 
you know, walkers, but he's hallucinating. And then June comes out and say, you know, he shoots one of them and, and brings him back down, um, patches him up. And cause I guess he got, you know, kind of scratched by one of the walkers, but ultimately, you know, and I, I'm kind of mixed up some of the information, but ultimately she saves him because there's another scene where he goes back up and the stalkers are there and he's fighting them um, to kill them. And this, is, and this is where, but June, when they were getting ready to leave, um, we, we learned that June did not want to go. She just didn't want to leave. She was afraid. And it, we, it kind of collapsed in there and she got stuck. John Dory Sr. decides to go up and he's fighting. He left her there, so she didn't go. Um, but he went to go fight these stalkers. He, he ends up killing them, but who are these? Is this, is Madison part of this group? Um, and yes, Madison lives. I do believe we're gonna see her this season. Um, she is coming back. That is just my belief. Um, and I will be so excited when we see, you know, Kim Dickens reprise her role as Madison Clark. But, but anyways, a lot of questions on who these stalkers are. I mean, it may not be part of Madison. Uh, maybe it's, these are, you know, connected to, you know, Strand's group. But but then there, there's questions on that as we get back to the end. Um, that we, that it might not be because, you know, he can, ultimately at the end, you know, we, they wake up and they're in Strand's building um, because, you know, he had gone back down and they, and Strand had saved him and he wakes and, you know, Strand walks in, you know, June's already there too. Um, and John was, well, he, Strand said, you know, he's saying, you know, talk about how great he is. And John's telling him that I don't like you. We, we know what you did to Morgan. And he's just saying, well, I mean, you could live here and, and live, you know, great, or you can go back out there and be with him. And June brings him over because clearly she, she's been up for a while, but she brings him over and you see the walkers that are, you know, standing outside. They're basically saying that we're kind of have to do this for now because I don't know how we're going to get out. Um, so they, they're kind of stranded, but the, the best part of the whole episode was the end because we see Morgan and he's looking for June and he and John and he's trying to get in there he's like are you down there are you down there and you know he's saying it over the walkie you know trying to talk to them but Strand comes on and and you get this kind of angry discussion back and forth and you know Strand's telling him I'm gonna do what you couldn't do and I'm gonna help people and I'm gonna build this community and and Morgan he's like you should help people um, and that's good. But if I find out that you're hurting any of the people that I love, I'm going to come for you. And unlike what happened in the sub, I'm not going to, I'm not going to miss and I'm going to make sure it happens and I'm going to get you. Um, but it, it just, um, it, the tension in that conversation was was thick. You can cut it with a knife, and and it it seemed like the conversation that I believe Strand had with June that he may not know who these stalkers are, um, but I'm not sure. Like I, who do you think are these stalkers? Um, or these other people that are coming? Are they with Strand? Are they with some other group? Um, but it, it, I just go back and forth. Sometimes it feels like they're part of his group. Sometimes it feels like they're, you know, part of this other group, but we're going to, we're going to find out. Um, but, I'll, but right before they woke up and there, there was a, there was another scene where he actually found Cindy Hawk and she was in, this is before, you know, everything caved in or whatever. He found her body and she was there the whole time. So he was able to get some closure, which I think that helped John Dory um, Sr. He's, it's going to help him move on. And I think it's going to, I don't necessarily guide his character, but it's going to, to help him become, you know, 
more focused on what they need to do and he's he's going to be able to leave the past behind and focus on the future um but this fear is looking really good the way everything is is you know turning i can't wait to see you know what morgan's doing and but where i hope this next episode we get to see where the rest of our group is that you know went off with with the crm or you know where 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 is everybody but this was another great episode i love the dynamics with strand and morgan i cannot wait to see them but um when they finally see each other that's going to be a big battle but but i but i say if madison does come back what if she's the one to take out strand i think that would be kind of a cool dynamic but where is alicia where is padre a uh, lot of questions from previous episodes and into this one that need to be answered what what are you looking for into this next episode what are you what are you wanting to find out um did you did you like this episode i i personally loved it the cinematography again was great i love that john got to get some closure um i love that they're starting they're starting on the you know strand versus morgan kind of they actually spoke to each other but i can't wait for the next episode love doing this review for you guys and as always like in all my reviews i love to do a shout out and in this one is no different i want to shout out my good friend rachel burt who is an amazing artist she's part of squawking dead she's doing a lot of um a lot of fun projects that you need to you you want to follow her and in the description i'm going to throw in her link tree which is going to have all of her all of her different um links to her you know her social medias and whatnot check her out check out her pages um, she's an amazing individual. Um, you'll love her. And as always, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Love you guys.